Welcome back to yet another episode of Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, where we've been using realistic military tactics and CQB doctrine to play this game called Door Kickers 2 Task Force North. If you want to buy this game and you haven't done so and you want to support the channel in the process because you like what you've seen in this episode or in this playlist, you can do so by buying a copy of the game off of my game store at nexus.gg slash controlledpairsgaming. I've also got a bunch of new merchandise for sale at controlledpairs.gg. That's also the best place for you to connect with me and other members of the community. And I've got some exclusive content going live on the website in the next couple of days, including a, a podcast where you guys can come and learn a little bit more about me and, uh, and my buddies and kind of my thoughts on life and the digital world. But as we get started on today's episode, this level is called Bridge Assault. It is a big deal because it is the final episode or at least the final level in this single-player campaign as it stands today. I'm sure more will get added later, but this culminates or concludes our journey through the single-player campaign in Door Kickers 2. That means from this point forward, we're going to transition to more of the custom maps, and we're going to slow it down a little bit and focus more on some of the more technical and doctrinal and realistic and TTP and tactics-oriented gameplay that was the foundation of this series when it started. I am excited about today's video, though, because this level, Bridge Assault, is going to be a violent one. This is a clear hostiles mission. I have 10 troops to accomplish it. I actually started playing this yesterday. I played for about five minutes and it became clear very quickly that one, this is going to be a giant gunfight. And yeah, you know, I, I know a little bit about the map because I played it a little bit yesterday. Um, but it, it's just a really, really long map. There's a, a lot going on here. So I think today what I'm going to do, um, since I, I kind of gave up on it yesterday because it was just taking such a long time, is I'll play a little bit and then I'll describe my next move and then I'll uh, plan out that next move and then I'll play it in real time. So I'm going to kind of piecemeal it together so you get some commentary, some rapid planning, then some execution. And then at the very end, we'll play it all back in real time so you can see it all unfold. Um, we know that this is a clear hostile mission. It's a, it's a challenging mission just from a terrain analysis perspective. Um, you know, the obvious challenge here being the bridge itself on this bridge assault lev level that is a high speed avenue of approach. It's, it's our only uh, movement corridor or axis of advance to get across this major uh, natural obstacle. That natural obstacle being this massive water feature, the river that bisects the entire objective. There's three pieces of urban terrain scattered across the objective as well. I've got one here, one here, and one here. And then as we begin to look at the environment, it becomes clear that this is an area that's been prepared by the enemy to be defendable. So they've blown a hole in the wall here to allow them to move quickly in and out of cover. So you can imagine the enemy kind of taking cover in here, running deeper into the building, and then popping out through this hole in the wall to fire from this barricade and then disappearing back into the structure. They've done the same thing here by clearing out walls internal to the structure so they're able to move rapidly. And that means someone in here who takes fire from this window would be able to squirt out the back of the structure and then attempt to flank our forces in that way. So pretty common TTP there to open up high-speed maneuver corridors and high-speed avenues of approach inside urban terrain. As we kind of look closer, um, you know, it's clear they've been here for a while. There's a bunch of food. There's gasoline lying around. You see another wall blown out here. There's a campfire going, uh, a campfire that's like active over here, which makes me think that there's probably people occupying these spaces. As we look across the bridge, there's a knocked out main battle tank right here. It looks like a T-72. Uh, we've got some sedans that are on fire, a bunch of debris that's on fire. The enemy's clearly using this spot um, or, or barricading this spot. We have a tanker that's gone off the bridge altogether. Um, pretty unpleasant scenario. We also have a couple of obvious defensive fighting positions behind these sandbags. So one, two, three, four, maybe five, maybe six, seven, eight defensive fighting positions, maybe nine back here, maybe 10 defensive fighting positions total, potentially another one right there. So those are all positions, what we would describe as primary, alternate, supplementary, and subsequent fighting positions. A primary fighting position or battle position right here would be responsible for holding this avenue. If this became untenable, an alternate fighting position would be right here. This allows the enemy to bounce from fighting position to fighting position, so there's your primary and alternate. Then you have a, a supplementary fighting position that could potentially be occupied back here and cover a different avenue altogether. And then you have a subsequent fighting position. So as the enemy becomes pressed and they're forced to fall back into interior rings of their perimeter defense, you can see them breaking contact from these battle positions to more subsequent or yeah, to more subsequent fighting positions and then fighting back here until they're ultimately forced to Alamo up 
inside of this area. So not to get too heady with the doctrine this early in the video, but that's kind of how I see the enemy attempting to fight their defense. That's certainly how I would defend this place. This is a highly defendable position. It would take a hell of a lot more than 10 people to do it, but we only have 10 people. These are the 10 people that I've chosen to bring for the job. I've got two elements, what I consider to be my assault element, which is a, grena uh, a grenadier, and then four assault troops, and then uh, my support by fire element, which is two marksmen or snipers, two um, medium machine guns, both of them running the Mark 48, which is an open bolt gas operated belt fed 762 light machine gun that can be operated by one person. Uh, our grenadiers are rocking the M16 with a 203 40 millimeter grenade launcher, and then our snipers are rocking the M110 SAS, which is a gas gun shooting 762. Our assaulters are all rocking the M4. On the M4, I've thrown the dual optic. It looks like an LCAN. It's an LPVO that can zoom up to 4x, uh, and they're shooting the sauce ball ammunition. We've got a mix of breaching uh, mechanisms, so no options here, but we did bring extra bangs. Here we've got a wall breach. Down here we've got three frags. Down here we've got three slap charges, and down here we've got the breacher shotgun. So when all else fails, we can go ballistic and uh, get through doors in that way. So um, I'm going to be pretty violent in this one. You know, we should also say that we're seeing civilians on the battlefield. As, as violent as I want to be, I do have to be careful about how I employ certain munitions, but what I will say is the safety of the assault force is my chief concern, and trying to get out of this fight with all the enemies dead and all of my assaulters alive is my number one concern. Uh, but we're not going to uh, we're not going to target civilians, uh, but we're also not going to make the ROE so restrictive that our guys are going to be in danger as a result of, uh, of making dangerous decisions. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'll, uh, I'll knock out my initial plan, and then I'll explain what the plan is. Here we go. Okay, so our first move here is going to be an initial security sweep. I'm also going to get some smoke out here. My assumption based off these defensive fighting positions is that there's enemy already occupying that space. Based off of that assumption, I'm going to obscure this space. Uh, that'll be my trigger to move my initial uh, support by fire position to occupy these corners. It's going to be a dangerous fight. The goal is to get a machine gun, a grenade, a grenade launcher, and a sniper rifle in the fight right here off the bat. Let's see how it goes. Civilian's already moving. Smoke's out. There's my smoke. All right, now I'm going to plan this peak. All right, next portion of the plan has been created. I'm going to maintain security on this door. I'm also going to maintain security on this breach. I'm going to move machine gun up to here. I'm going to peek this corner with my DMR. I'm going to choke up this guy in the stack. And then all four of these guys are going to move on the break while holding security on this door, moving forward, and then beginning to pie off this guy. I'm expecting to make contact around this corner based off of this fire being right here. Here we go. Okay, we're not yet in contact down here. That smoke is still up, so while I have the opportunity to do it, I'm going to go ahead and push my other machine gunner on the sprint to that location. I'm kind of wary here because that's going to expose my flank, so I'm actually going to move a grenadier up to support him and pull rear security for him right here. He'll be right there when he gets there, and then I'm also going to authorize... Alpha, go. A sniper to get into position as well. So that'll get a good support by fire established. A little bit concerned about my flank security. And then I'm pushing long because I want to clear out this first. And then potentially make entry like right here, through the window, through this door. Working that kind of stuff. So um, that's the plan. Right now I still owe security on this door at least uh, until I perform a combat clearance to the external portions there. Alright, let's do it. All right, I would call this uh, support by fire established. Still not seeing any enemy, which is surprising. I'd kind of expect them to be in these positions, but sure enough, I'm not seeing them. So um, good news, I suppose, initially. Okay, this room is clear. Um, still no contact on the bridge. Wow, okay. Maybe it just turns into a shit show if I get compromised. <laughs> that would be fun. All right, maintain security long here. Um, I don't need to hold this door anymore because I've already cleared most of this. In fact, what I'll do is I'll kind of slice it up here and knock this down. Don't shoot. Found one. And we're in contact. Okay. Um, somehow we have one, two, three, four, all... 
all of a sudden surprising me at once. So that's that's good. We need to immediately gain, uh, gain and maintain fire superiority there. Somehow we're already injured as well, so that's fun. It's not a good day to be a civilian out here. Oh, man. All right, we got to start getting frags out. So we'll put one right here for sure. We're going to get these frags out while... Um, we've still got... Suppress a fire going down range. Here we go. Come on. Is everyone still alive? I know we're hurt, but we're doing okay. All right. Support by fire is established. We've got good effects down range, folks. This is uh, feeling sufficiently violent. Here's where I'm struggling, though. I need range. I need to be oh there it is there it is right there there it is I'm gonna hold this I'm not gonna commit while my support by fire is decisively engaged to this long fight quite yet one problem at a time we've got time we've got space oh my guy look at that shot let's go baby F fuck you Come on, boys. Hold it together. We're reloading machine guns right now. That's a problem. Fuck you. Fuck you again. Hold it together, guys. Come on. Last. Alright. Uh, we're going to reinitiate. We've gone through. I'm going to go one gun at a time. So we're going to talk the guns now. Um, so next time we have to reload. We don't reload both machine guns at the same time. I'm going to suppress with one. Keep the other one cold. Get that barrel cooled off. Look, there's another bad guy right there. Uh, that's a DMR. DMR should be able to take it. He did indeed. All right. Uh, we're looking okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a complete shit show, but, uh, it's a shit show that we are managing for at least right now. Um, next we're going to push long here. We are in contact, so we're going to do it on the double reestablish security here. As we push long, I'm going to hold security on these windows for our buddy because he is kind of in a tough spot. We'll choke up this stack. And uh, and I think I'm going to leave one additional assaulter down here with my support by fire just to provide some more security because, um, yeah, we're facing quite uh, the enemy signature at this point. There's a shooter. That's not good. These guys are out of control. So, man, some of these guys are just, like, very difficult to deal with. This guy's pushing us. Where's this machine gun at? There it is. Did we get him? All right, he's dead. Good. All right, support by fire is reestablished. Super dangerous situation still, guys. Uh, it looks like we're in contact long as well. We had good security, so we killed one there. I've still got a little slice of dead space that I want to deal with before I do anything else. I'm going to do that by kicking out wide with one, bringing this guy over to maintain security on this open breach, and holding long right here. We'll have you hold in place until your buddy gets adjacent to you. There you go. Move together, folks. Good, good, good. We've got a machine gun reloading, it looks like. That means we're going to begin initiating with the other machine gun, right? Because we don't want 
a gun cold. We need to get him around the corner a little bit. There you go, buddy. Give him hell. Guys, just putting fires on this road. We're burning through ammo right now, but we've been in a lot of contact. There's still a lot of positions out here that the enemy could still occupy. And by just getting rounds on it, we are providing suppressive fire that's enabling the rest of our assault force over here to continue movement and then preventing the enemy from counterattacking uh, along the battle positions like we kind of forecasted them to. So they're unable to move. We are able to move. We have fixed them so we can maneuver. It's just death Tetris, you know? Who are y'all killing? Somebody? Hopefully not civilians. See, this is that's effective. That's why we have a sport by fire. If you move, you die. Alright, let's get the rest of the stack up here. Actually, we'll hold um let's hold this breach here. Will this civilian just go away? Guns reloading. Other one goes hot. And, uh, yeah, all the weapons squad leaders watching this right now are going to lecture us about machine gun math and how we wouldn't have enough ammo and how we're not doing enough barrel changes. Guys, it's door kickers. All right, let me just have fun. There is a shooter in here deep. We're going to bring another guy over and put a frag in this room all right so we can two man clear the rest of this I think or at least this like kind of funky shaped I say that but you know it's a fucking bathroom so All right, we do have some dead space in here. I don't need to worry about this door, remember, because we cleared it from the outside. We got security right there. All right, this space is clear. We're reloading down here, so we're going to go hot with the other gun. Keeping up that constant rate of fire. Make sure the enemy is unable to move between these areas. They are fixed, and we can manipulate the battlefield as we see fit. Machine guns, guys. Machine guns. Uh, we do have one piece of terrain here that uh, we're never fond of. I don't want to waste. Here's what we'll do. It's a short room. We've been compromised. I'm going to mechanically breach it with the boot, and I'm going to do it from offset and from the outside with a lot of standoff for my buddy. It's clear. Okay. Uh, that's clear. Next, we got to get through this guy right here. Um, let's go ahead and collapse these boys back over yonder. I'm going to have this guy go to a ceasefire. I'm actually going to have him execute a reload. I'm going to put our guys here in a watch and shoot so that they're able to fire on anything that moves. We're going to conserve ammo, keep our barrels cool for now since the situation has slowed down. Uh, at least it seems to have slowed down temporarily. As soon as I say that. As soon as I say it. Civilian. Civilian. I wonder if they waited until I stopped shooting to run for cover. That'd be interesting. Kind of a cool mechanic. All right, we're going to clear as much of this as we can from the outside. I'm going to commit one brave homie to these window clearances at a time while maintaining good security from the outside. This is the big one here.
being very careful, guys. There's no reason to go rushing in here and dying. We're not in a hurry to get ourselves killed. Tactical patience matters. Look at that. We cleared most of that room from the outside. I can even come all the way up to here and kind of hold this angle. In fact, let's do that. Because now I'm able to see deep. There could be someone hiding in here. There could be someone in this corner. Now they're not able to move on us. We've got two angles on them. Um, all right, same play. We have to maintain security on the door, the window, get the window open. Good to go. Same play on the door here. No plans to perform a dynamic entry. Just clearing from the ex outside. Looks good. A little bit of dead space right there. We'll work it nice and slow. He'll hold from inside. We'll go in with a two-man clearance. Alpha, go. Good to go. We got lucky there. Good to go. All right, this portion of the structure is clear. Still got this little portion over here. It's kind of dangerous how we have to get through there because um, we have to go external to do it, and I don't want to burn a wall breach quite yet. All right, we'll get the stack moving through the building. Start cheating up with our other guys. Okay, the stack is looking good. We'll go ahead and... Uh, in fact, we'll put some more smoke out here to protect their flank while they move. That's probably a good spot for it, about right there. Bang. Perform our little center check right there immediately. Transition to corner. This is a funky, but center fed room, so one takes two. He'll push deep, collapsing his sector all the way. Two man will take one. His threat's actually going to be deep right here, and this is a weird kind of like furniture and lots of obstacles there. Pretty interesting, actually, that challenge. Um, so he'll check his corner and then hold deep. Three man. Center check. Four man. Buddy up with the two man. Sniper's still doing work down there. Good work. Good work. Okay, and we do have a bathroom here. We're not playing that game. What are y'all shooting at? Oh, damn. Did you seriously? Who, what, Philly? Guys. Philly. You dangerous motherfucker. Worth the bang. Not playing that game. All right, now what's the plan? Um, we need to get across this bridge, so I'm going to reconsolidate and prep for movement. Um, best place for me to reconsolidate is in this building. I don't want to give up the cover that I've earned, right? And then before we push across, we're going to need to establish a base of fire to protect ourselves as we move. Guys, so if this is my assault element, I need to get my support by fire element into position. What I'm going to do, I think, is um, move my grenadier first on the double to right here. We're gonna set conditions for their movement by getting smoke out. If I can find some smoke, we'll go smoke like right here. We wanna put smoke as close to the enemy as we can without affecting our own ability to maneuver, right? So that's kind of where I'm considering their placement. Are we sucking on smoke grenades? There's one. Another one right there, okay. There goes the smoke. And then I'll worry about the maneuver. So smoke is up. Our obscuration is good. Let's set this support by fire. I'm going to go Grenadier first. So now you can see we've kind of reestablished our ability to protect our buddies here. By getting key weapon systems back in the fight in good spots. 
So, pretty stoked. We're sucking on grenades down there. That sucks. I think my grenades are going to be more valuable with my support by fire than they will be with my assault force. So I'm actually going to do a buddy swap here. And I'm going to swap grenadiers between the assault force. Ooh, this is why we have security. Good lord. All right, party's back on, folks. Oh, man. Everybody's injured. Um, okay, this is looking pretty good. And we've got, we've still got, like, reasonably good security. Does he have a good lane? Yeah, he can see down the middle. There's no reason for him to move. Good DMR. Um, okay, I think we are set. I've got one, two, three... We'll get our uh, assault element into position now as well and start make making our way across the bridge. Alright, given all the contact that we have been in, I am going to go ahead and initiate uh, with some suppressive fire from the support by fire as we move to protect our assault. I'm going to do that by putting suppressive fire on both of the chunks of urban terrain that we've taken contact from. So I've got one north of this massive linear danger area or this uh, avenue of approach that is the bridge. And I've got another down here to the south. Down the south, we don't have very good effects, so I'm also going to take this grenadier. Um, and we're going to put a hole in the wall. I'm seeing sandbags right there, so I'm wondering if those sandbags are enemy occupied. So I'm going to hit that while we suppress. So we're going to initiate now. Go ahead and put a little bit of HE right here. I'm actually going to do the same thing here. Any defensive fighting position that I can't observe, I'm going to hit with HE just to protect the force. All right. Uh, with that, we're going to start making our way forward. We'll do buddy team bounds first on the left. Machine guns are reloading. We do have more enemy deep right now. So we're going to immediately put... Get out of the way of our grenadier and get grenades downrange. No reason to move while the enemy is moving like this, so we're going to re-engage, regain fire superiority as fast as we can. We are having devastating effects. We're talking the guns now. We're going to continue bounding because we've got assaulters in the open. Peanut, come up here, buddy. Using successive bounds to get in position. Alright, this is tough. This is tough. So I'm starting to cut off my support by fire based off of how far I'm moving deep. My next good pieces of cover, I guess, are up here on uh, these sandbags. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get good reloads on both of my machine guns. And I'm actually going to move my machine guns up. So we're running the guns as we're moving the assault element. And we'll move the DMR with the machine guns. We can provide security for, uh, for those machine guns from the assault position here. And we'll even move this DMR up. We're just slowly improving our security posture. Alright, now we've got one machine gun reestablished that can protect us. 
we're going to continue these alternating bounds from our assault element. Contact. Holy shit, I thought we hit that with HE. Play no games, boys. Play no games. No reason to stay there and fight something that I, I know I'm going to lose. We'll fix him. We'll put HE on him. Live to fight another day. Just to be sure, we're going to keep putting HE there. Alright, that machine gun's reloading. We're not moving until he's coming back up. Those machine guns are keeping us alive. Overwhelming fire superiority and maintaining our tempo with the assault are the things that are keeping us alive right now. Um, Alright, machine guns back up. Since we took contact from that awkward corner, I bet you the same thing happens here. I'm going to prep that corner one more time with HE. Sounds like it was a good thing I did. Um... All right, these corners are super, super dangerous. Go ahead and get the rest of the assault element moved up. I'm going to do this one slow, though. I hate how bunched up we are, but guys, I mean, <laughs> the options are limited. They just are. Okay, slow freaks me out on the bridge. I can't do it. Um, I'm feeling pretty impotent with this grenade launcher and this machine gun so I'm actually gonna begin moving them up to here got a lot of moving pieces right now but we have enough people sitting still to take care of them that we're okay um, okay what's next I need to choose right so I've, I've got to isolate one of these objectives and I need to clear the other one uh, I think I'm going to isolate this one, and I think I'm going to clear this one. So the best way to isolate this, I'm going to obscure it first, and then I'm going to position guns to uh, be able to fire into it and protect my flank. Uh, and then after I've achieved that, I'm going to move into the other section. So I'm going to isolate it with at least one machine gun, high explosives, and, uh, and a rifleman. So what we'll do, I think... Alright, so I am putting smoke here, and I'm putting smoke here. That's going to let me get around this corner. Once I'm around that corner, I'm going to be able to reestablish uh, to have security on the northern portion as well. Alright, so we've obscured effectively that chunk. Now I can bang this corner. This is the move. This is the dangerous move. Compromise, right? Because we just self compromise based off that bang going out. They know we're pushing this direction. I've got an open threat here, locked door here. I'm going to push long and clear this dead space before I commit to the structure itself while isolating up top with this large assault element that I've got here. There's a little bit of dead space created by this fence. I'm okay with it. Um, and we've got good obscuration to our rear just in case there is anyone deep. They can't, well, they could shoot us. They can't see us. We've got decent concealment. So unless they're just spraying and getting lucky, uh, we should be okay. All right, it's feeling a little lonely over here, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get this machine gunner in this fight. He's going to have security right there. Thank God for security. All right, let's get these other assaulters in the fight. We're going to be running in front of machine guns, which, you know, we don't like to do ever, but uh, this is the way. This will also get me off the bridge, which I'm very much looking forward to. Alpha, go.
These guys are just murdering fools up there. Golly, who, who was that? Goose brother. Alright, now's not the time to get sloppy. Let's check ammo on all these guys. 29, 27, 17. Go ahead and earn yourself a mag change. 31, 23. Mag change it up. Pull security while he does that. Alright, we're up. Alright, let's look at this thing. Uh, we want to push long down here. We got an open breach here, so that's going to turn to a priority, but I'm going to clear this corner first and clear deep. Uh, I think I'm going to hold this open breach, send at least one long to finish clearing out all this dead space, and then, uh, yeah, we'll change it up from there. Alright, so we see one potentially prepared to blind fire right there. We're going to put two guns on him from two different angles. Fuck, we lost an assault turret. That's my first death, I think. That's some shit. Alright, Pete, brother. Barricaded shooters, man. Still got to hold long, guys. We're gonna hold what we got. We know there's a barricade tree there. We need one more gun in the fight. I'm gonna pull rear security here. That frees our guy up to move to us. We'll move in the cover. Are y'all serious right now? Snapshot. Should have caught him as he came around the corner. Did we kill both of them or just one? That was a suicide bomber, right? That was a fucking suicide bomber. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we know there's vests in here. Standoff matters, boys. Back up, back up. Alright, we cleared long. Oh. Uh, we're going to keep working our way around. I don't think I'd ever want to perform a 360 degree clearance of this structure. Um, Jesus. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover our flank like this. So I can't actually kind of generate geometry that makes sense. Alright, uh, do I have explosive breaches anywhere? No. Do I have explosive breaches up here? Yes. Um, we'll do it this way. Two man clear. I don't like it. But I can't move this guy anymore, so it is what it is. Who is that? Oh no! Philly's done! That's it. Alright. We know they have vests. But because this is an open breach, I'm going to hold this. Push long. Wait for a reaction. Wait. No reason to hurry. Alright, nothing hurt. Push a little bit more. Push a little bit more. A little bit more dead space right there. A little bit more dead space back there. A little bit more dead space right here. All right, that's clear. That's a. Oh, we already killed some people in there. We're good. All right. Um. All 
have one more bathroom right there we gotta worry about um, not a ton of great options to get to it except through this nightmare Alright, clear. Got just this little chunk left and this guy left right here. I wish I could have Philly back. Moving the DMR up so I can get an M4 in the fight and give myself a triple stack going into this next structure. Clear from external looks like. Cool. And we'll do the same drill. Grenade. Bail, my dudes, bail. Fastest reflexes I've ever seen on that terrorist. Jesus. All right, easing back into that space. This is tough, right? Because we've got, fuck that. We just took a grenade from this room, so it's getting fragged all day. Alright, I'm going to leave that sliver. I think we're okay. I just got to hit this guy up now and then we're done down here. We'll go finish her up. Um, we getting counterattacked? Good to go. Here's what we'll do. We'll reposture our support by fire position and then start a deliberate clearance. This next portion, this is looking real nice, isn't it? Um, As soon as we start taking fire from barricade shooters like that, all bets are off. We immediately, immediately gain fire superiority by whatever means necessary. In this case, we're just throwing machine gun fire and grenades and everything else into this thing. Fuck you. Nice, open breach, so we can actually push in this way, which is preferred, honestly. Um, I'm gonna bump a machine gun over. Because it's clear we've got a, a big chunk of this building. Okay, this chunk of the building is clear and secure. We've still got this little guy left. Probably gonna end up wanting to go explosive on this little bathroom door. Because we don't play games with short rooms. Got this whole area pretty well secured. Where's my other wall chart?
Alpha, go. Cool, looking good. Um, this is an open breach, so I'm you know tempted though we may be to flow in. I'm not gonna do that. We've got a nice four man stack. We're gonna keep going cover to cover, I think. No, there's a fucking enemy there. Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Thank God. Oh, dude, I've been playing this for an hour and 10 minutes. Time in game was 11 minutes, 35 seconds. We lost one unit, pacified 48 hostiles, and got 11k XP out of this. No civilian casualties. That's a damn miracle. I can't believe this was 11 minutes of time playing. That's that's absolutely outrageous and frankly we did really well i'm a little bummed about the one guy we lost obviously all in all i think this was a pretty cool pretty cool round and it was back to the basics fire maneuver set piece moving piece suppress fix move finish um, let's watch it go down in real time i hope you have 11 minutes to watch this unfold alpha go
Alpha, go. Alpha, go.
Alpha, go. some of my finest work if I do say so myself. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you want to learn more about the community, about the channel, about the games, head over to controlledpairs.gg where you can get tied into all of our social media platforms, join the Discord server, shop for games, shop for PCs, shop for merchandise, and even catch exclusive content like podcasts, blogs, and range videos. Thanks again for watching. I'm Controlled Pairs. I play the most immersive combat simulations and tactical shooters in the world. This is Door Kickers 2, Task Force North.